Hello, everyone. I've been tattooing since 2015, and my artistic focus is on surrealistic portraits. I plan to create videos about my work methods and insights. Your input is incredibly valuable to me, as it will shape the content of my future videos. If you're a tattoo fan, an aspiring artist, a pro, an apprentice, or just watching TV, join me in this video as I talk about my tattoo process and techniques. I usually start tattooing from the bottom part, unless there are unusual conditions. I put two drops of color mixing solution on all my ink caps so that they wouldn't dry. I recommend it to those who have problems with ink drying over time. It prevents the ink from completely freezing until the end of the tattoo. As with all my work, I designed this tattoo mainly on Procreate. Although I use an iPad, I recommend using a print as a reference since the colors appear illuminated in the digital environment. Image on paper is closer to its appearance on the skin more so than the digital. I mostly use Eternal ink for colors, but I find Dynamic successful in black and white ink. As with my previous grayscale tattoos, I use radiant colors completely on the gray tones of this tattoo. But I would like to try gray sets from other brands soon, especially Eternal Inks. Most of the time, I tattoo the darkest tones first, but sometimes it can be changed. Since the skin pores are open while tattooing, traces of dark tones may have passed on the light toned parts which creates challenges when taking a photo for my portfolio, but ultimately is not a problem after the tattoo heals. I can say that Cheyenne Tattoo Equipment, which is the brand of all the cartridge needles and machines I use, is essential for me. Using professional equipment in your work is very important, and I'm very happy with Cheyenne. I try to use natural products as much as possible. Later, I plan to make a video where I will talk about all the products I use, including tattoo after care. In this part, I'm using dark grey to show details and the location of some dark shadows. I would like to tell you a little bit about my studio and the way I work. Rivatio Tattoo Studio has been officially opened in Izmir at August 2021. We have a friendly and inclusive ambience in our studio. When I have free time available, I teach those who want to learn the art of tattooing and painting. Even though I mainly work on color surrealism, I can say that I also produce works in the style of realism. I think of the tattoos I create as a unique work of art that can have a connection with the person who will wear it on their body. I also create the design of the tattoo according to the anatomy of the area. In my artworks, portraits play a massive part. Just as I like to use different techniques in painting, I also like to combine different techniques in tattooing. Even if I like to make realistic facial details, I make expressive deformations, abstract shapes and scars nearby or even on the portrait itself. I don't think anyone should limit themselves in any stereotypical style, especially in artistic production, because it can become a self-created obstacle that you meet later. And I think this applies to most of our lives. Art makes life more meaningful, so enjoy this journey. I look at my reference as often as I can, because every single detail that is missed can change the image of the tattoo. To me, clarity is very important. By the way, if you think that you exaggerate the dark shadows, it is better to use grey ink. When it is used instead of diluted black for shadows, I think a softer layer tattoo can be made. I seem to be tattooing super fast because the video was speed up, but it took me 18 hours to complete. How much time it will take varies depending on factors such as client skin type, their health, if they are a smoker or not, and the list goes on. I 
I love using magnums, and sometimes it's the only needle I use for an entire piece. I can say that I use 23 magnum the most in this tattoo. It resembles a paintbrush, slightly changing its direction until to make different effects and textures. But of course, it shouldn't be used overly tilted in order not to irritate the skin. Because it's a large needle and more difficult to control than a liner or a shader. The voltage settings are consistent along the process. I generally use 7 to 8 watts, but each machine and brand are different, so this only applies to Solnova. The shades of pink in this grayscale tattoo changed so many things. I really enjoyed these parts. In the future, I would like to make a pink monochrome portrait tattoo. I think it will be great. Let me know if you are interested. Let's talk a little bit about the content of the tattoo. The symbol on the forehead in this tattoo, which is a humanoid portrait with some parts made out of amethyst, 
is the Tengri symbol, which is based on shamanism and totemism. This symbol whose meaning is power and fertility. By the way, Tengrism is a Turkic folk religion. While designing the character in this portrait, I was inspired by the powerful goddess Shimilte in Turkic mythology. This goddess rules over all unusual beings in hell and the underworld and leads all female shamans who are connected to the underworld. If you are curious about more of these stories, you can take a look at Turkic mythology. Myths and legends from ancient times have significantly inspired today's artistic productions all over the world. In general, I love to create smaller sized but high impact parts of my tattoos. I also use very little purple and pink tones in a small part of the background of the Michael Myers tattoo I have done some time ago and I think it adds a different expressiveness to that tattoo as well.
Here I applied shea butter after cleaning the tattoo. But due to its form, some of it was left solid on the skin. So it is somewhat difficult to work with, but I use it because the moisturizing effect is intense. I'm tattooing the lightest shades of grey, even though it looks white on camera. Tattooing the darkest shadows with 18% grey wash to intensify the contrast. I'm adding details to the lips, nose and eyes to make the face look more realistic. I really admire the intense pigment of the dynamic triple white. When it is used correctly, it ensures that the portrait has a shining effect. And the highlights have a great contrast despite the intense shadows.
I would usually do the highlights as a finishing touch, but I ended up using a new colder blue tone on this tattoo. Life is full of surprises. This work is the first tattoo of my new design series. You can inquire about how to contact us and get more information on our website. I will drop a link below. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your opinions in the comments below. Until next time, stay well.